Ah, for once, a long title that doesn't denote any air of pretentiousness. It's Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. <laughs> to spare everyone listening, I'll just go with the more common and much shorter name, Puzzle Fighter. This title was initially developed and published by Capcom in 1996 for arcades, but was later put on various home consoles. The HD Remix came out for the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation 3 in August of 2007. Capcom wanted this to look and sound like a parody of Street Fighter titles, and they did a good job. They nailed it in the title and the goofy mannerisms of characters, Dan specifically, poking fun at the popular fighting series. <laughs> The gameplay is smooth and responsive, which is important in a puzzle fighter. The main, I guess it would be, story mode where you battle the computer is fairly short if you're decent. Luckily, this game has various difficulties, modes, and multiplayer awesomeness. Much like Street Fighter 2 Turbo, this is a game you can come back to over and over again. I love this type of puzzle game. Two link gems will drop from the top of the screen and you can rotate the gems and place them accordingly in your allotted space. Stack gems of the same color however you please and clear them by dropping a glowing circular crash gem of the same color on top. This chains through all of the similarly colored gems that are touching. Then you can use rainbow gems to clear all gems of one specific color from the screen. There are benefits to being efficient in clearing your screen, but there's also more power in the dangerous side of attempting to chain gem clears. The more chances you have to chain, the larger amount of gems you can throw at your opponent and can effectively cut them out of the game for a solid five moves and almost guarantee a KO. <laughs> Although the method I just described is X mode, the core version of the game, there are two other different modes of gameplay. Y mode will clear gems as you align three light colored ones in a row, column, or diagonally, and Z mode brings gems up from the bottom of the screen, and you've got to clear them by rotating the already settled gems. I prefer the classic mode or multiplayer, but adding the Dreamcast versions of Y and Z just gave the game more substance and variety. It's also a mind kitten when you try to flip from one mode to the other. Puzzle Fighter is so adorable, it makes me want to throw up from cute overload. I mean, look at Ken's background. I'm pretty sure Blanca is rubbing suntan lotion on Cami. Everything is over the top and done in a massively childlike cartoony manner, pulling off the parody aspect Capcom was looking for. The two characters in the center of the screen act out a battle based on how well one or the other is doing. I do have a gripe about this. Everything is in HD except for those character sprites in the foreground. The graphics feel a tad disjointed, but luckily I rarely spend time looking at those characters and instead focus on exploding gems. <laughs> Beating Puzzle Fighter on various difficulties unlocks more playable characters such as Dan slash Akuma, but the unlockables end there. Everything is instantly available, so what you see is what you get. It's a great pick up and play game for casual gamers as the difficulties slowly ramp up, forcing you to think faster and consider the repercussions of your actions. It's easy for me to recommend this. If you like puzzle games and you haven't played this, I'm fairly surprised. If you love the Street Fighter or Darkstalkers franchise, I think this game is a must have. Puzzle Fighter is a solid single or multiplayer puzzle experience utilizing the faces we already know and love. So sharpen your gem dropping, rotating, and stacking skills. I'll see you guys later. I'm actually itching for some puzzle combat. Yeah.